Hey guys, welcome to everyone. I'm Nad and this is my channel Rainmaking. Hey everyone, so this time I will do better than the other time. Um, so uh, the weather is is going all on that on that direction. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, there is a bit of cloud down there. But the rest of the sky, I can't really see on the back there. But anyway, the weather is going toward north. And as you can see, it's all clear. I can't read really, than that. Two very small clouds down there, couple there, We've got the ocean there, and the winds are coming from this direction. So uh, it's all clear, you can see. That side too. Down there, there are a few clouds, and my my other device is pointing them those. Okay. So now we, we turn on the the Higina one and let's see. So I'll leave it here. Let's do it. So it actually doesn't need to rotate forever. It just needs a few spins and uh, the process will start. And anyway, the contact is contacting on the energy is going through anyway. It's all connected here. So let's go. Where I know the battery doesn't matter. I just grabbed a spare battery and um, I realized that I forgot to say that I have a William Reich uh, cloud bus that pointed to the front of the cloud so to allow the allegedly to get the rain so if we if um, to be sure that the rain to be sure that the clouds will get rain, real water, so let's go.
was actually wrong the wind is not coming from that direction but it's coming from east what which which is wrong west <laughs> that's east north south west so it's coming from west did that just say west <laughs> west sorry i meant west okay so now i'll leave i'll leave the phone here because everything i could do i've done it i'm gonna give a couple more twists to the Egina antenna uh there is no need for you to come in again so i'll leave the phone here looking at the sky and we'll see how it goes Okay, I'll well set a couple more tweets to the again antenna, which allegedly attracts the mass, and another couple of of um, swiping, I say, with the rake cloudbuster to get the rain. There is a small cloud coming together, actually. I'll give a couple of swipes with the William Rake. I'll leave you to it. I've done all I could. We'll see how it goes. I'll go inside to work on the website. See you soon. Okay, so here is what happened in an hour, and uh, it, so I was wrong, it wasn't coming from that direction, the wind, it was coming from that direction. Uh, so I first pointed wrongly all the devices in that direction. But once I realized the winds were coming from this, I just turn it. Anyway, the Igina, it's a kind of, it allegedly works as a magnet. So anything blown by the wind in, um, in terms of uh, moisture would have come toward this area, allegedly. And uh, that little beauty there, I don't know, you can see it. What about the focus? Yeah, that one. That one is a is a hybrid between uh, 
um, Constable and Drake, and is pointed directly toward the front of the cloud to increase the uh, to compact the, the moisture together basically and uh, allow it to rain which uh, it is now again what to say um, we don't know if this wasn't meant to be but uh, you saw it this is about I'm turning off the right machine anyway I have to point it back toward because I'm running another experiment with that and um, we don't know if this was meant to happen already but uh, what I want to show you here is that this is the current situation in Perth so this is what's going on with my focus okay this is today Friday 5 it's all to in real time uh, look how refresh it I know I shoot it all in one take so I know it's annoying and, and it's boring actually sorry not annoying um, but it's the only way to prove that this is happening in real time so as you can see over there there is not a bloody cloud if I add the layer of the um, where is wind Oh, no, there you go. You'll see that the winds are coming in from east, as I said, uh, southeast actually. There. So I first pointed toward these with the right machine, and then I realized uh, I turned it on this side actually. So we are collecting this water here, which wasn't supposed to be there, but anyway, hypothetically. So here you go. Oh, sorry <laughs> uh, see ya guys please subscribe and uh, comment any comment is welcome thank you see ya guys just want to show you guys <clears throat> what's going on outside meanwhile it's been it kept raining quite constantly actually very very constantly and now it's done and it's raining on the Sunday so we might even have a rainbow somewhere can't see it. not yet but... No. but anyway it generally what I noticed is that when this happens, the, the prediction is right. Um, for as long, as much time as it takes to get to this point, to the rain, that much is going to take to clear up. So as to say, it took us 50 minutes to get the rain. Now it's been raining for 20 minutes, I'd say. So in half an hour, we should have the sun again, perfectly. So let's check the time on the computer so that we can have a um, reference for, uh, let's see. Um, Earth weather as before. So still, I'll still refresh. Still no clouds on our area. And this is 3.20, same day, same afternoon, and we're there, right there. Okay, so update in half an hour, I reckon. Yeah, why not? See you guys. Here we are, um, half an hour has passed, um, still no clouds, blah, 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 I just refreshed. So this is, um, where is the mouse? 
3.40 of the 5th of July, it's the same day, so it's 30 minutes later. And uh, let's go outside and see if they, my forecast was right or not. So, um, half an hour has passed. That's that's the east side. So the the wind was blowing from west to east, as we said. So that's all the mass of water we collected before. And this is it. Uh, it's a nice, quite fresh sunset time, almost. Not sure what to say. So, guys, again. 10 minutes on still, uh, actually 20, something like that, and uh, here we go. That's all that is left. Again, see ya guys, please subscribe and comment.